hi all in this session we are going to discuss about some of the efforts made at international level to maintain the equilibrium of the ecosystem so here we are going to deal with some of the conventions protocols and conferences a convention is a meeting or gathering to formulate or deliberate on a generally accepted principle or framework in which the parties decide the basic guidelines on the other hand a protocol contains specific aims or legal obligations agreed upon by the members who gather in a convention or conference so here we have the united nations framework convention on climate change the united nations framework convention on climate change is an international environmental treaty created at the united nations conference on environment and development informally known as the earth summit held in rio de janeiro from june 3rd to 14 1992 the united nations climate change conferences are annual events held in the framework of un fcc the conferences are held to assess the progress made in efforts to deal with climate change the first un climate change conference or conference of parties was held in 1995 in berlin the objectives of un fccc is to stabilize greenhouse gas concentration to such a level that would prevent human induced interference with the climate system within a time frame and to enable the ecosystems to adapt naturally to climate change to ensure that food production is not threatened and to enable economic development to proceed in a sustainable manner the next one is the kyoto protocol in order to reduce the growing concentration of greenhouse gases in the earth's atmosphere the unfccc put in place the first ever agreement between nations to mandate country by country reduction in greenhouse gases this historic protocol was adopted in kyoto japan on 11th december 1997 and thus the protocol got the name kyoto protocol the kyoto protocol officially came into force in 2005 after being formally ratified by the required number of nations participation nations or the signatories have agreed to meet certain greenhouse gas emission targets as well as submit to external review and enforcement of these commitments by the un based bodies next one is montreal protocol it is related to the substance that depletes the ozone layer of the atmosphere this international treaty is designed to protect the ozone layer by phasing out the production of numerous substances believed to be responsible for ozone depletion the treaty was opened for signature on 16th september 1987 and came into force on 1st january 1989 the last one is paris agreement the paris agreement or paris climate agreement is a un sponsored pact to bring the world countries together in the fight against climate change countries that sign on to be a part of the pact agree to limit the century's global average temperature temperature increase to no more than 2 degrees celsius above the levels from the years 1850 to 1900 and to pursue efforts to limit the temperature increase even further to 1.5 degrees celsius i will repeat 
countries that sign on to be a part of the pact agreed to limit the century's global average temperature increase to no more than 2 degrees Celsius and to pursue efforts to limit the temperature increase even further to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Participating countries made the Paris Pact on 12th December 2015 to adopt green energy sources, cut down on greenhouse gas emission and limit the rise of global temperature. Every country has an individual plan or nationally determined contributions to tackle greenhouse gas emission. The agreement went into effect on November 4, 2016, representing at least 55% of the world's global emissions ratified it on October 5, 2016. As of May 2017, of the 196 negotiating countries that signed the agreement, 147 parties have ratified the agreement. That's all. Thank you.